What's up there? If you're one of those people with low income, I have some good news for you. Below is the blueprint to help you optimize your money and to help you make more money. Because that's your problem. If you're low income, there's just not enough money to go around and we're going to work on addressing that. So go below and get into the how to start a service business bundle and you'll be well on your way to optimizing the money that you currently have, which is very important, and making more money. Links below. That, let's get into this video. Hosted by yours truly, your hustling godfather, Glendon Cameron. Today, we're about how it is foolish to build your business on social media. Once again, how it is foolish to build your business on social media. I'm about to get into some stuff that's going to be a little sexist. So you may hate me and you may unsubscribe, but I don't really care because I'm here to give you the information that you need, not the information that you want. Oh, let's get into this. Before we get do, do me a solid. Go below. Get on the text notification list because YouTube does not send everyone notification that there's a video or a live stream. It's, hey, it's their platform. They can do what they want. But if you want to get this hot content fresh off the presses, you need to do that for yourself. So let's just jump into it. Today in the Facebook group, which is Disruptive Mail, we only allow men in there. So if you want to join, you need to have some nuts but go to Facebook, look up Disruptive Mail, and the mods will hook you up. Someone posted something. I'm not going to mention his name because I'm not trying to start anything. And I'm not trying to get any views by using his name. But he's pretty well known. You've probably seen some of his commercials. And he wrote up some that was really intriguing. Five years ago, I figured out that social media was not the best way to build a business. I did. And because um, everyone was saying, you got to build it on social media. You, you got to be everywhere all the time. And if you notice, I didn't go on Facebook and build a business. Actually, I had a robust business on Facebook before Facebook started mucking around. Before um, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014-ish, I got 70% of my business from Facebook, from Facebook groups. Then Facebook was like, no, 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 Mr. Man. Uh-uh, you, you making money. You leaving us out? We, no, no. So we're going to totally mess up your group, and we're going to make it disappear. And it came back like 18 months later. But the thrill was gone, baby. The thrill was gone. So at that point, I'm not doing any Facebook. I tried to do Instagram. And once again, who owns Instagram? Facebook. So I beast off that. And what I did was, and this is an advanced model. This is an advanced business model. You could do it on your level, but you're not going to get the kind of results that I'm getting. And I'm just going to be kicking it to the real because there are many people who think like, hey, Glendon did it. I can do it. No, Glendon's very talented. If that makes me an elitist, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to double down this year on direct response, and I'm going to stop spending money on AdWords. This worked out pretty well. Now, I'm not making the money I made last year when I was doing consulting, but this is much more sustainable and durable, and I can build on top of it and not be working 120 hours a week. So this individual was talking about how social media, matter of fact, I can't log in on this page, but I can log in here. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna read some of this to you. It is it, it's good stuff. I mean, it, it is really good, and it's true. It is true. And also, thanks to Arden Bolden, he's got a killer testimonial in the group. You have to join the group if you want to see it. Um let me let me get down here. Let me let me find it. Cause it's very different on your phone 
than it is. <laughs> what the hell? All right. This is wild. I don't know why, because it it should be really up there, but it's not. All right, hold on. We we can um pull back because this is important. And I want you guys to hang with me. Aha, here we go. After watching blah blah video, I truly suggest you let's see. Um, go watch his YouTube videos and listen really hard. It's a lot of ugly, real truth on real entrepreneurship. These past few weeks have become so painfully obvious that people with awesome social media presence, 98% of the time are not the people with the best numbers or even any talent. How many times have I said I've run up against YouTubers with 1.6 million, 2 million subscribers, and I make 30, 40 times more money than they do. And I have, you know, thank you for you guys who are here. I only have 80,000 subscribers. So they're dancing clowns. It's just all smoke and mirrors to cover up that they actually can't build a real business and they should be avoided, not copied or looked up up to. In fact, I realize it's it's a total fucking waste of time unless your entire focus is social media to gain customers, Logan Paul, Kylie Jenner, etc., if it's not, fuck it, turn it off and ignore. I think he got burnt. I'm going to explain that in a minute. The fact that Russell Bronson can view, post a video, a true nine-figure champion that gets 3,000 views and some guru with image material shits gets 50,000 views just shows you how lost people are and how valuable a social media following really is. RB makes more than the guru does in a year gross profit in the week. Now, let me tell you, this is some heat and this is some anger because this person was all up in the social media sphere. This person was doing all this stuff and I was just waiting for the number because he's a smart dude and I was waiting for the numbers to connect, right? And they finally connected because I'm going to explain why social media works for some businesses, but it doesn't work for most businesses. I can name off a list of every multi eight, nine figure earning. I personally know a watch. None of these guys do very well on social media. Hell, some of them are total nobodies. All, 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 every single one of them does is just work on the thing. One thing and spend every day optimizing that one thing. Likes and follows don't pay grow businesses at any time. Any first mover advantage gained by being on a platform first is an erased in a year or so. What did I just say about my Facebook group? He's he's telling the truth. He's really experienced this for real. Don't spend time trying to replicate the gurus of famous people. They're trying to grow in a stupid fucking way to stretch way. They don't, they don't watch TV. They don't drink. They don't pay attention to anything except their business and personal life. They don't waste time worrying about what others think or try to be flashy and it's been this is the good part it's been a tough realization because i managed to build some really awesome businesses i've wasted too much time playing the social media fame game i'll tell you straight fucking up it's by far the most unprofitable thing i do and he goes on and on and on if you join the facebook group you can read this so let, let me tell you why social media does not work for most businesses for money. Now, social media can slam any business if they've got adverse press. Now that shit works across the board. Typically social media is a female dominated phenomenon. So if you're selling swimsuits, you are selling makeup. Yeah, you could do really well. You selling suits. Mm, not so much. You, you will get better traction from using Pinterest for selling suits. But if you're selling like something durable, uh, like cars, well, cars could work on social media if they're like a Ferrari or something. But if you're like a big, well-known company like Apple and you use social media as part of your marketing mix, yeah, that works. But if your name is Ed and you have Ed's Horseshoe Farm and you're posting on social media, Mm. So essentially, if you want to win the social media game, you got to act like a woman. 
You got to be all up in social media all 24 seven. You got to show some female traits and you got to be flashy. If you want to win the social media game, because part of this thing is all of these platforms are driven by who's favorite. You, you'll see someone and you'll see it all the time. Like you wonder, like, how did they get so many views? And you, cause you don't see anything remarkable about them. You're just wondering. And it's just, people have chosen to like these people. Now here's another thing about social media. And this is what I don't do. I am a 51 year old male. I am not going to try to compete with 18 year olds, 20 year olds and 30 year olds on social media. I would lose. I don't care if, the information I'm putting out is beyond top notch because many people want to see someone like them introducing them to content. So, you know, it's like, you know, Glenda, yeah, you're nice and everything, but you're not like this 22 year old who has a Ferrari, who has a jet and lives in, in Bali. I mean, yeah, I hear what you're saying, bro, but I'm going, I want, I want his life. I don't want your life. You, oh, you're supposed to have money. You're supposed to be living well. I want to see someone like, me, who's made this arc very quickly. Now, this is why I have not, did, did I jump on Meerkat and what was that shit Twitter had? And I didn't make one, I didn't, you know why? Because I'm making money doing what I'm doing. I had no need to jump over there, jump over here, jump over there. Because simple direct response model, which is simple in concept, but the application and execution and deployment is hard as fuck. But that does it for me. I mean, this is crazy. I'm making high five figures off a direct response model without ad spend. Now, the reason that this is hard is because it takes you a while to build up a following, which many people is like, I ain't got time to build no following. I ain't got time to impress people. I ain't got time to talk to people. I don't have time to get to know anyone. I need to make my money now on social media. And then Facebook, do, 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 change the algorithm. Instagram, do, 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 change it. eBay changes. Amazon changes. And you found yourself like an animal, a trained pet, jumping through this hoop, jumping through this hoop, jumping through this hoop, freaking out because you still haven't realized that if you sat down, and begin work on building a real business, you'll find out that stuff don't work. Now, your Uncle G, your hustling godfather, have you ever seen me go for this flashy stuff or change tactics or do something different? Remember when, if you ain't building a platform on Facebook, you're missing out. Did you see me run the Facebook? I know how Facebook operates. I think of the, I think of the Facebook. Like, no, I don't trust these motherfuckers. I don't trust them. YouTube has become kind of like Facebook in some regards, because like I said, you know, go below and get on the text notification list because they do not send every one of my subscribers an update. Cause if they did, every video would have 40 to hundred thousand views, everyone. And also I know my stuff is good because when I put paid traffic, I get watch through rates of 82, 88% has been my highest. Well, actually I had one that did 92%, but it was real short. So the content's good. It's just, I'm not popular. I'm not one of the, not one of the cool kids in high school, but I don't care because I'm making money. But if you trying to do this social media thing, oh, hold on. My new computer, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me shrink this. Uh, this computer has voice. It's real sensitive, but um, if you're building your business on social media without utilizing or building real business principles, you're going to live to regret it. I'm just here to tell you uh, that time that I was making all that money on Facebook, I did have a backup. Thank God I had a backup because when that stopped, I moved to the next thing. So I'm not saying don't do it. What I'm saying is you need to be really, really cool and efficient with doing it. And you need to have not one gun in the gunfight. You need two to four guns in the gunfight, 
Because if your only gun is Facebook, <laughs> you know, Facebook lost half its traffic in the last two years. I know some of y'all have felt that. Mm -hmm. So it, it is wild. It is really, really wild. Let's see. I, I didn't really expect that many folks because, you know, when we start talking about business, taking a few years to build a business, people are like, oh, man, I don't want that. I want that Bally stuff. What's up, Christian? Again, direct <laughs> Maddox 12. Again, direct messages straight. Again, YouTube's really pissing me off. I'm telling you, you have to get on that text notification list. Uh, Maddox, thanks for getting this set up because YouTube's not going to do the work. Well, first of all, I am leasing real estate on YouTube. All you folks on YouTube, you're not my subscribers. You're YouTube subscribers. And I, I, I've governed myself, of course, and I realized that YouTube can do whatever they want to. So they could choose not to send you updates. And you could be like, hey, where's Uncle G? I haven't seen Uncle G. Then you, then you come look on the channel. It's like, I didn't miss 12 videos. What the? I didn't get any notifications. I've tickled the bell. YouTube don't care. YouTube like the honey badger. Honey badger don't care. And you know what? It's 100% fair because it's their platform. They've spent billions of dollars building this. Billions with a B. So what I have to do is be a smart cookie. So, okay, this is game YouTube's playing. And I'm back to saying my favorite expression, don't hate the game, don't hate the player. Learn the motherfucking rules so you can win. So the new rules are, I'm not asking for subscribers. I'm asking for you to get on that list because once you get on that list, then you become mine. I can communicate with you at will, but if, without that, mm -mm. and it was funny. I did an audit of a channel. Guy grew super fast. He's got a website. And then I did my analytics and he's growing really quickly and he's getting a lot of views, but his website doesn't register. Um, he ain't making a lot of money because see, this is one of the things you got to understand. If you get to 10, 22 million subscribers, yeah, you're going to make money, but you can get up to three to maybe 5 million subscribers. Well, no, he, he does a real business. You may not be making as much money as people think you are. Seriously. So it, it is crazy. That is wild. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. All righty. Good Lord. It should be going down. Oh, I know what. All right. That should be better. I don't have any allergies. It's this new computer. <laughs> it's crazy. What's up, Francisco? What's up, surgeon? God, you Mr. Bolden getting me motivated, even though I'm living on, on my own for six years now. All right, all right. And I like that you posted that, Arden. I really did, because a lot of people, they, they listen to the content, but you took action. So <laughs> slow clap. You took action, man. Appreciate that. Sound like Ben Stein from the Vaseline Quest. It should be better now. Uh, I was doing a webinar, so I had one setting that worked for the webinar because I'm looking at it. It should be cool now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So let's see. GM Transportation, appreciate that. Josh, for I want to be like the silent pimp with 10 holes and $10 million. Hey, there's, there's many businesses out there. Now I, I was having this argument with this fool who's like, I could have a hundred dollars, a hundred million dollar business. And you wouldn't know if you have a hundred million dollar business, you're on line somewhere. You know why? Because you've done something. And if nothing more than just doing the secretary of state search, you're going to find something out. 
What's up, uh, Rose? Zola? Yeah, because see, if you want to get the content, you're going to have to get on. Because I know a lot of people are like, he going to try to sell me something. You know what? You damn skippy. Yes, I am. And if you want to miss the free stuff because you don't want to, like, ah, I don't want him to sell me anything, that's on you, player. Because the people who do get in the mix, are, their lives are changing. But they're not changing in a, a day, and they're not changing in a few weeks. They're changing in long, about, let's say, six months to a year in a few years. That's how they're changing. And I'm not going to pacify you or rub your little head and then speak sweetly to you saying that you can make six figures and work four hours a day. Not happening. And see, this is something else too. Automation in 10 years is going to fuck up a lot of people. Uh, someone posted in the Facebook group this, and I posted on the Facebook group and I posted on my page that Domino's has a car, an automated car that delivers pizza. And that people are like, oh, that's funny. You know, I don't believe in everything. I'm like, you, you really don't get it. Between self-driving cars, which you've seen in every science fiction movie, and Google Duplex, this computer has some form of the duplex because when it's setting it up, you can talk to it and it has responses, which are from machine learning. And I was like, no, that doesn't work. Oh, my bad, Glendon. So it has all these pre-programmed things. So voice is going to be, this is where I do agree with Gary V. Voice is going to be huge because I'm probably about to get myself some Alexa up in the camp. But if you are not in the driving seat of your income, you may be in some serious problems and repercussions coming down the pike. I'm just saying. Our favor. What's up, Doug? Hold on, let me go back. Doug, Doug was like, You're absolutely correct. It happened to me. I was missing your notification, so I signed up with a tech notification. I'm trying to tell y'all, YouTube is not going to send you these updates because uh, one, I've used paid traffic on the channel. And typically, YouTube has something in the algorithm. If you're using paid traffic, then it reduces organic reach. So I wouldn't be surprised if only like 2% of my subscribers are getting these updates because I'm getting like today, I'm putting up different content. So it's bringing people back. But I'm telling you, Matt Gresham, I'm going to break that down in Salesmatic, which is going to be in. Hustlers undergrad. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm not avoiding your question. I'm going to give you the highlights real quick. The most important part of anything you do with starting a company is your audience. Who is your audience? How big is it? Is it growing or is it getting smaller? And this is going to take me a few weeks to teach you how to vet that out. So, you know, that's, that's a nice question. I appreciate it. But I can't just like, Boom, 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 answer it all. No, no, no. Because you have to become institutionalized into the system. And what I mean by that is you're going to have to become a data person and a process person. Like I'm getting ready to hire someone else, but I'm not making the same mistakes I made last time. I'm writing up a detailed job description and I have a targeted person. I'm going to tell you. Um, the dog walker, yes, there's the dog walker. If you didn't know, there's an app called Rover where you can have someone come walk your dog. Uh, the girl lives in this neighborhood. She's a stay-at-home mom. She's married, and she just needs some extra money. She walks dogs and stuff like this. I'm going to find one of them, someone in this neighborhood who's staying home with their kids because they're going to get them to work remotely because they're going to be more responsible. I know people are like, oh, man, you know, give me a chance. Uh-uh. I'm going to do what's right for the company and that's right for the company. So understand that you must become very much into looking at data, which will bore you to tears, which you'll be sitting there yawning, but that's where your money, your money's in the data. One of the best things I ever did was get on the phone with like 250 of y'all. It's like, Hey, would you like to channel? And just seriously ask just a few questions. And one of the things that came from a direct, and this is part of the direct response is, How'd you find the channel and when did you buy? 
And I heard 50 people say, yeah, you know, I found a channel and I bought within a week. So I'm running a 30 day um, email funnel. So I'm actually pissing off people and losing money. So I cut that funnel off and just started doing this direct response in, in the videos. Like someone else, I think, is about to start doing. Because, see, social media, it becomes a habit. It's like alcohol. It's like crack. It's like, you know, drugs. And it's a very hard habit to break because even though you're not getting the results that you want, you're still going to you're going to go for that habit because you get a dopamine drip in your brain every time you get a like. This is why I routinely take the Facebook app off of my phone. And I have one, two, three computers. I will only be logged into Facebook on one browser. I'm not logged into Facebook on this browser. Because what happens is, ding, 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 it's too much. So it became annoying. What's up, Ed? Josh Barr, people with a million subs and broke. This is true. Uh, Rose Gold, I think direct response file text is really going to take off. Everyone has a cell phone and it's paramount. Also, there's not filters for text messaging right now. Right now, that's going to change. It's coming. But right now, there's no filter. So you send them, they're going to get it. Uh, Johnny, the webinar, which is still processing because I have all new software, it will be up tomorrow in Hustlers Undergrad. Domino of Brock effect takes money, make money. Marcus Love automation is like, you know how those fires that burn down half of California? It's like those raging infernal fires. What's up, rock and roll Dina? Dina, yeah, rock and roll Dina. Thanks for the five dollars super chat. Uh, Chrome browser at an extension. That's probably a YouTube thing. I don't know. I'll look into it. Xavier France, I attend tech events, and it's crazy the things they are creating. Tim A, and Tim A makes a good point. I love data, went to school for programming databases. It helps me with my eBay hustle. Data helps you with everything. And uh, Diana, do you know that flowers, especially orchards, never see a human till suction time? I did not know that. I did not know that. <laughs> you have do not disturb. What's up, Black Zeus? Oh, you are. Check your emails. And tomorrow I'm going to send an email with the code because um, it's weird what's happening with email. And this is why I'm getting really, really onto my text notification game. Because unless you go in and save Glendon at hundergrad.com and put that in your address book, a lot of these movies, a lot of these uh, messages is going straight to your um, spam box, especially if you have Gmail. Blood sport, Glenda, we're already cyborgs, hybrids. The cell phone is slowly extension of us. It has our likes. Uh, yeah, no, because see. All right, let me go ahead and hit you up what's going to come. You see this physical cell phone, right? There's going to be a digital implant. You could probably put it wherever it makes sense. That's going to be your cell phone. And then you're going to have an earpiece that's going to be surgically implanted in your ear. And you get a call. It's like, oh, hey, what's up? See, this this has a life cycle that's only going to be so long. People are going to be wearing their cell phones. Then we can talk about that cyber work stuff.
Uh, if y'all having a problem to access the, you know, the art of holding, that means you have not been reading your emails or you have not been getting them. Once again, go to your spam folder and put in the search bar, Glendon at H undergrad, and you should find the information you need. Oh, let's see. Making money, making moves. What are your thoughts on the upcoming blockchain? I'll say this again. I think blockchain is 10 to 15 years away from massive adoption. Yeah, there'll be some people who will do some cool and wonderful things, but let's talk about data. Who's in charge of the money right now? Baby boomers. Baby boomers has most money out of any demographic. Next in line are the millennials. And then after them is this, this um, new generation. It's the biggest generation we've ever had, like 81, 82 million people. So when those folks come online, you're going to see a lot of crazy changes. So, you know, everyone's like hopeful and, you know, you, you look at Bitcoin and there's always, you know, Bitcoin, let's be real. Last time, last November, Bitcoin was $20,000. And this whole year, it's been slowly melting down. It'll go up a little bit and it'll go down. Because uh, January was like 12, then it popped up, then it went down, then it went down. It's been going down. So if you've been buying on the dip and holding, okay, maybe you'll be all right. But if you've been buying on the dip and selling, <laughs> you lost money. Human Humanity does not move as fast as people want it to move. Uh, let's see. Definitely cool breeze. Movies are becoming reality. The driverless car was in every virtually every science fiction movie. And here we are. All right, Gene. Cool. Yeah, Gerald. It is just for hustle. Like you can sign up for hustle undergrad. It's 300 bucks a month for 30 months. And I'm going to let you know. And if you don't have good study habits and if you want some instant results, ain't happening. What this is, is a program. That's going to make your life much better next year, but you, you got to do the work this year. And if you ain't for that, don't even join. And I, I got to say something else too, um, to the hustler undergrad folks who are watching this. I've only had five people bail out. I'm really shocked. Cause I thought it was going to be more, but I only had five people bail out and, you know, two were like, Hey, look, you know, so we go ahead and cut them loose. So that's just the testament to the content that's been put out and what's coming is going to be sick because I'm going to teach you how to start a business for real. But once again, it ain't going to be no, let's go look. No, no, that's hustle shit. You can start, you can hustle. You can start a hustle tonight and make some money by in the morning. But to build a durable, long-term business that's going to make you money for the rest of your life, that's going to take some time. It just is. That is funny. I mean, everyone's gassed up on the blockchain because everybody wants to make money without applying effort. That's really what it is. And if you really were used to making money the old fashioned way, you would look at that like, is this real? Because like I said, I sold my Bitcoin last year. I was like, man, you better, get, you know, I, my, my hustle bones start to click, 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 click. My bones start tingling. I was like, all right, you need to sell this. And I thought I was going to leave about 5K on the on the table. I left a few hundred bucks. I mean, it was eerie. And I had people that I did my video and I was like, I sold my Bitcoin. People were like, you stupid. You dumb. I don't think so. Rose go average business turnover from startup to IPO is, IPO is about seven to 10 years. Yeah, it's going to take some time, but people just like, I don't have that time. Well, I'm going to say some people. There are some people who have come to the realization that they're going to have to invest some time to see the kind of results they want. Or this YouTube channel, I had 10 years of business experience. I didn't just start this route. And this is what's funny. I started this YouTube channel. And I started making money because I wasn't eligible for AdSense. And when I started getting asked, I was like, uh, what I started this channel off and doing, you're going to have people that's going to become the norm in the future for YouTube because 
Once again, YouTube is out for YouTube. And once again, don't hate the player, don't hate the game, learn the motherfucking rules so you can win. I'm out for me. And this is what I'm doing. I've just made a decision. Like, you know, uh, for folks who subscribe, appreciate you, but I really want you on my email list and my text notification list. Because that's that's where I make money. You know, views are nice, likes are nice, you know, video doing 50,000 views, that's nice, but I've done the math. Most of them do not make any money. They really don't. You got people out here who are getting um, 2 million views a month and they're making like $5,000, which once again, if you have a job, that's crazy money. 5K a month from the YouTube channel. But, you know, it ain't the same as 70, 80,000 a month. It ain't even close to that. All right, Johnny, appreciate that. <laughs> no, I got a new computer. Let, let me just go ahead. And... I, I never thought this would happen, but um, I'm not going to buy any more Apple computers until they get to touch screens because I need a touch screen for the stuff that I do. And let's see. Um, okay, here we go. And yeah, this is the one I got. Okay. Where is it? Hold on. Well, see, I got this little. All right, let me put this here. I got that pin and pull it down. All right. Because it, it, it really makes a difference that I can write on the screen. And the whole thing, here we go. This is uh, the new computer. i7 chip, all that jazz, big hard drive. But I needed that. And once again, when I make my purchases and stuff, my purchases are predicated on need, not the best, the best. And this was like 1700 bucks. And I kind of like it. I mean, it's, I haven't used the Windows product since 2011. And I had that Toshiba. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> this is wild. So this this is a, a lot of things are coming, but I'm just telling you that use social media, have fun with social media, but make sure that you're building a real business somewhere. Because if you don't, like how many folks you saw were on the Kindle Books thing, then they moved to the FBA thing, then they moved to the Shopify thing. Do that. They're not building real businesses. They're making a lot of money. They're making a ton of money, but and I hope they're investing it in safe haven assets, but they're not building a durable business model. They're not. So if you wanted to do that, you can. All right, so here we're, we're going to go into October tomorrow. So this is because, you know, there will be regular updates to the art of holding companies because I got to do some stuff like uh, this new holding company that was creating state of Georgia dragging his feet. We're on the third week. So I got to call him tomorrow, but we're going to get into sales manic and we're going to get into audience development, audience development and searching for marketplaces. You can develop an audience or you can find a marketplace that's already exist. And then you've got to, get into asking them questions, figuring out a lot of stuff before you come up with your product. Cause many people are product centric. It's like, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to sell this hat, right? I'm going to sell this hat because you see this hat and you see that someone else is selling this hat, but this hat was, um, I think was gotten from target. So let's say you can get this hat and the hat sells for 15 bucks. Well, targets buying this hat for a buck but you got to buy this hat for $6. You see how that works? So Target can mark this down to seven bucks and still make a profit. You can. 
And that's what's going to be happening because you became product centric and you were not audience centric. Star Asia. People think YouTube FB cares about their businesses. <laughs> I know they're free platforms and can disappear anytime. Get your followers on your side of your business, meaning outside of free platforms. Absolutely. Yeah, so you, you really got to get that. And let's see. This new camera is supposed to shoot in 4K, but seems to be way more sensitive than um, these. These cameras. Ah, that, that made it focus. I'm going to give these away. These are 1080p. I got like three of them, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to just give them away. So I'm not using them. All right. So for those of you who want to be part of Hustle Undergrad, we're going to get into Salesmatic next week. And it's not going to be easy. You know, this is something else, too. And I, I, I have a bone of contention to pick with some of y'all. You will go to some college that you really don't know much about. And you would drop 12 grand for half a semester without even thinking about it. But a course that you can learn how to hustle and learn how to build businesses, you got a problem with that, that essentially before you finish paying for it, you will be making money. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. So that's one of the things. Uh, it's under the list. The links below. It's 300. It's 299 a month. Now, I will be breaking off some things. Uh, Salesmatic will be 150 a month if you wanted to get in on the Salesmatic thing. And each time I do a module, I'll make it accessible for 150 or something like that per month just for that. Because, see, the best deal was to get in on Hustle Undergrad when it was 150 and a lot of people were just bullshit. Like, oh, I ain't going to do that. And they're like, oh, crap, I missed out. So that's what it is. And it's going to stay at 300 for a while. It's not going to move because it's going to be a business school that teaches you how to really do this shit from someone who's really doing this shit. I have a direct response marketing business. And now I'm playing around with AdSense, not AdSense, but AdWords again, to try some other stuff to see what's going to work because I completely turned it off. So there's no ads running right now. So we'll see. But once again, and this is a hard, hard thing. Sometimes you're going to have to spend 500 to 1000 bucks just to test some stuff out. And I know that's like, whoa, 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 whoa. That means that money's just gone. And a lot of y'all are like, what? That's, that's when you get to the big leagues. And once again, that's super small. I know people who blow like 50 grand testing stuff. 50 grand. So when you really start getting into the bigger businesses, the real businesses and stuff, it's going to cost you money, money that you're not going to get an immediate return on. So I'm just bringing you into the fold, bring you into the family just the right way. <laughs> What's up, Al? Welcome to the family, Al Bradley. Oh, Patrick and a day because. Uh. I don't even know what that is. FAFSA is paying for college for most people. So the money doesn't really come out their pockets until they graduate. Got you. You know what? That, that that's, I think you're a hundred percent correct. Now imagine if they had to pay for it, I guess these colleges wouldn't be as big as they are. All right. Well, I'm done. If you want to be part of hustlers undergrad, the link is below. And if you want this hot information, off the presses, Go below and get on the text notification list. Make sure that I, it's uh, it's like fourth live stream notification list. That's what it is. And I, I think I like this Windows product. It's kind of blowing my mind. I know. Never say never. All right. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. So let your let, you know, leave your thoughts on what I said. I really would be interested in seeing that. So peace.